Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use Workday International function in Excel. Workday International is a good function to use when you have a start date of a project, when you know how many days it would take to complete the project and you need to identify the end date. So in this case let me show you how this works. I type workday.intl, I hit tab to auto complete the function and you can see it takes four arguments. The first is start date, the other one is number of days, the third one is weekend and the fourth one is holidays. I'll talk about these last two arguments later uh, since these are in square brackets, these are optional so we can leave it out as of now. I feed in a 3 as the start date which is 2nd March 2014 and 100 as the number of days. I close the parenthesis and I hit control enter and this gives me 18th July. This means that if I start a project on 2nd March 2014 and it takes me 100 days to complete that project, then my project would be done by 18th July given that Saturdays and Sundays are weekends. So these are off days and these are not counted. Now what if you have holidays in between? Then you can also account for these holidays. I give the start date, the number of days as 100. You can specify the weekends here. As of now, let me specify Saturday and Sunday as the weekend and I can key in this list of holidays. So I have given it C3 to C5 which is my list of holidays and now when I hit control enter, this gives me the final date which is 21st July. You can see that this, since these three days are occurring on a working day, the final date gets pushed by three days. So earlier it was 18th July but now since I've given these three holidays it becomes 21st July. Now what if you work in a geography where weekend is something other than Saturdays and Sundays? So you can use Worked International function to account for that as well. I select Worked International, I give A3 as the start date, B3 as the number of days and here I have this entire list where I can select what weekend it should be. So as the default is Saturday and Sunday, you can select Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday and any days. If you are in Middle East, you may want to select Friday and Saturday. If you are working with a company which only has one week, one day weekend, then you can select Sunday only or Monday only, Tuesday only. So in this case, let me select Friday and Saturday, which is seven and the list of holidays, which is here. And I hit control enter and this gives me 22nd July since we are starting our, our project <coughs> on 2nd March and we are considering that Fridays and Saturdays are weekends then my project will end on 22nd July. Now a very interesting feature to note about Worked International Function is that you can also identify the number, the end date if you work in a part-time job. So in a part-time job maybe you work only on uh, say Mondays and Wednesdays and then you need to identify the end date Then you can do that just go to the weekend section and here you will have to manually type something in double quotes so I would type 0 which so it works this way I would type 0 for a working day and 1 for a day which is not working so, and it always starts with Monday. So if I say say my Monday, Wednesday and Fridays are working then I would type 0 for Monday, for Tuesday I would type 1, for Wednesday I would type 0, for Thursday 1, for Friday 0 and for Saturday, Sunday 1 and I would close this. Again to take you through it, 0 are working days and 1 are days which are not working. So now in this case I have 0 for Monday which is working, 1 for Tuesday which is not working, 0 for Wednesday which is working, 1 for Thursday which is not working, 0 for Friday which is working and Saturday Sunday are 1 which is not working. Now I hit control enter and this gives me 22nd October. So if I am in a part time job where uh, the number of working days are not continuous uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday or say Monday and Fridays, Mondays and Wednesdays then you can use this formula in the weekend section you can manually type it in double quotes. So this is how workday function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.